大外落とし大外落とし is made by pushing down your opponent by sliding your leg down his rear waist. In o s o t o otoshi, your opponent's foot must be on the matting as you make the sliding clip. Here you see o s o t o otoshi made with the opponent's neck on your arm. Let's look at the differences between o s o t o gari and o s o t o otoshi. If your opponent's foot goes up in the air, it's o s o t o gari. If your opponent's leg remains on the matting as you sweep and he goes down, it's an o s o t o otoshi. At the World Judo Championships, Hitoshi Saito makes o s o t o otoshi. O soto guruma. In O soto guruma, you begin your throw as in O soto gari, but cut both your opponent's legs as you twist him down. Sometimes it's done in two movements. In a variation of this, you step behind both your opponent's legs with your right leg and make him fall as in Taiyo Toshi. O Soto Gaeshi. As your opponent steps in trying to execute o s o t o g a r i you instead cut him down at that moment using the same throw. Here the opponent's o s o t o g a r i is returned after a short delay. As you defend yourself against your opponent's o s o t o g a r i by pulling back your right foot, You counter with an o s o t o g a r i As you defend yourself against your opponent's o s o t o g a r i by pulling back your left foot, you counter with a twist. As you defend against your opponent's o s o t o g a r i by pulling back your left foot, You counter as if in o s o t o g a i s h i Another example where an opportunity to counter came still later. O Guruma. O Guruma is a technique where you make your throw. By turning your opponent around your leg as an axis. Placing your leg near the lower abdomen of your opponent to use as an axis, you turn him around and throw. Execute his aguruma. And the moment your opponent counters with his right foot, follow on with a o g u r u m a o g u r u m a was one of the favorite techniques of the 10th Dan, Kyuzo Mifune. He's captured the moment his opponent tries to step forward on his right foot.
다시 들어와 In Ashiguruma, you place your foot on your opponent's knee and throw with that as an axis. It's the same principle as Hizaguruma. Here an Osotogari is followed by Ashiguruma. First you execute Osotogari. When your opponent responds by withdrawing his left foot, you follow with Ashiguruma. Let's see the difference between Osotogari and Ashiguruma. When you use Osotogari, your opponent falls directly to the rear. With Ashiguruma, your opponent twists and falls forward. The name of the technique is decided by looking closely at these points. Yamashita wins with Ashikuruma at the 1955 All Japan Judo Championships. Uchimata. In using the Uchimata technique, you first pull your opponent forward. Then just when his weight shifts to his left foot as he moves forward, you throw by sweeping up from between his legs. Here you jump in to make your throw the moment your opponent withdraws his foot and touches the mat. Pull your opponent forward to make him assume jigotai or a self-defense position. Then jump in and apply uchimata just as he raises himself. This is a method generally known as ken ken uchimata. You sweep with your left leg to destroy your opponent's balance and throw. And uchimata after having switched feet. The movement is similar to that of Harai Goshi and Oguruma. The method used is to pull your opponent sideways, then sweep up on the leg he steps out on. First you make a move, as in performing Ouchigari, then it's transformed into Uchimata. In this situation, the objective is to cause your opponent to open up his legs and lean forward off balance. If your opponent defends himself by going down on one knee, he's still judged to be standing and the Uchimata is recognized. Uchimata, performed by Seiki Nose of Japan. 